Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I am your host, Anon Jr., and, well, I got a few things to show off. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm only laughing because, if you remember last time, we were working on the melon farm, the pumpkin farm, and the kelp and cactus, and ended up with the kelp farm not working for some reason. So... This started as I was just going to troubleshoot. Oh, we've been having server problems today. I don't know if it's us or this or Nodecraft. I think Nodecraft only because when I last looked at the control panel, everything seemed unreasonably pegged out. Um... Hang on. This isn't the troubleshooting I had intended to do. <laughs> Failed to connect to the server. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wow. Uh, this was this was supposed to be a fun end to the to the day. Our server died and is restarting. Vundaba. So we've got a couple of minutes because for whatever reason it does seem to it does seem to take a little while to get started back up. Like we're we're talking in the two three minutes range, which is weird. Anyway, so like like I was saying what before uh, we were so rudely interrupted by the server deciding to take a Tuesday off. Um I, I I went in this weekend with the intention of just fixing the kelp farm. That's all that's all I was that that's all I was intending to do. Um, Windows, I hate you so sometimes. Um and, and I, well, you know, I got it working after figuring out what the problem was. I'll explain that when I can actually show you what's going on. Um, and so, uh, while I was there, I was like, well, I mean, I'm here. I might as well, I might as well get the, uh, get the glowberry farm done because th that's not complex redstone. Um, well, now that I got that in, I might as well get the glow lichen farm, uh, cause that's not, that's not bad. That's not too complicated. Um, <laughs> and, and I think you see where this is going and that's like, well, might as well try to get the mushroom farm in here too while I'm at it. And, and I went, uh. I went poking around it. Why? Connecting. Hello. Actually, that's an Arcadius thing. He does that all the time. I know when he's getting ready to harass somebody uh, on Discord because I can hear. Hello. Now I'm getting failed to connect timed out. I've definitely timed out today. <laughs> are, are, are we are we still having problems? Like of all the days to have these kinds of issues, the this is not this is not the day. It seems to think that there are two players still connected. Oh, that's awkward. Uh, huh. No, just kidding. It doesn't think two people are connected. Um, alright. Let's try this one more time. 
Oh, there we go. Now we got it. Maybe. Oh. Criminy. Uh, Alright, let's, uh... Oh, nope. Server's back down again. Huh. Well, this is beginning to make for a very awkward coffee craft, since uh, the server's still brewing. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I just... Uh, re uh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's... <laughs> Coffee in 64. Or are you talking about the TurboGrafx-16? Because we could definitely do that. Or we could just do some D&D &D character building too. Alright server. You think you're up now? Don't worry. I, I totally empathize with the I'm up, I'm down, I'm up. Except I closed out of Minecraft. Uh, I have historically had troubles with mine, uh, starting Minecraft after I start XSplit. Uh, so <laughs> we'll, we'll see if it'll actually, you know, start. Uh, hopefully? Maybe? Please? Please go preparing. Alright, the RAM isn't maxed out. Uh, I, well, now now I'm also wondering, uh, <laughs> do I have entities backing up somewhere? I shouldn't. All the, farm, all the farms have capture points and overflow. Um, hmm. Well, I will have to double, I will have to double check that if I can ever get back onto the server. Um. Well, I mean, push comes to shove, I can always download a local copy and then start poking around and seeing if there's, like, I don't know, 842 pumpkins that the, the minecart hasn't picked up yet. Um, <laughs> although, I, I will say this. That melon pumpkin farm that you guys saw me build last Friday... Um... That was smaller than the one that Medic built for Season 1. And it's doing a pretty decent job of producing. Like, it's not going to produce enough for the server. Don't don't hear what I'm not saying. Uh, but it's doing <laughs> it's doing a lot better than the uh, the blade. Oh wow! It popped me back there. Okay. Cool. Fine. All right. <clears throat> As I was saying before, the server so rudely interrupted us. We, we, uh, yeah. I, I not only finished the farms, I even decorated the walls, added the, the floor for the second story, and a couple things up there. Some of that we're, we're going to take a look at because I'm not entirely happy with it, but I'm not entirely unhappy with it either. Although, so... This mushroom farm is the slowest thing known to man, which is fine because I just, I just, I'm letting it trickle in. Um, I'd set it up because I thought that the brown mushrooms would end up in this one and they appear to be getting mixed between the two. So to, uh, I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save myself up or a smidgen of trouble and uh we'll, we'll just uh and oh fine when i get more uh, <laughs> i'll spread them out a little bit more and, and oh would you look at that i got two more boxes and i can raise these guys back up one and it doesn't break the the line of the wall as bad as this joker here the, the, this glow lichen farm, uh, this was a bugger and a half because I originally had the hopper up one block, but trying to harvest the lichen from the sides 
would automatically break the one on top of the dispenser, which is the one that, you know, is being duplicated by having the bone meal thrown at it. Um, and then I tried at dropping this down one and adding that block there because I don't have room to move everything up. Um, because I packed this a little tighter than, <laughs> than I should have. Um, and I found out that I'd have the same problems with the sidewalls because this grows one block in a random direction each time you bone meal it until it has surrounded the area. So in other words, a bone meal would hit and it'd go to this side, a bone meal would hit and it'd go to this side, a bone meal would hit, and it would either go to this side, this side, or the middle. So I wasn't getting the best yield for the bone meal by throwing in these stairs the way I have. Uh, the glow lichen cannot go any further on the left or the right. And the only downward place is this guy right here. Um, you do need to get the shears going. And uh, this one, like the glowberry farm, it is going to be kind of like the flower farms I got on the other side. You're not going to preload it with bone meal and turn it on and off. You're just going to toss into that chest uh, the bone meal that you want to put in it. So if I just need a little bit of glow lichen, uh, let me go. Let me go grab some bone meal. I, I don't. Yeah, that. That's right. I left a couple over here because um, sometimes I are smart. So I want some glow lichen. I go over here to the box, I toss in the bone meal, and it's just going to start going. And as long as I hold down the uh, left click button, it'll keep popping out lichens. I am liking that a lot. Sorry. No, I'm not. <laughs> I am not sorry for that at all. Uh, so... I, I just threw together some some cheap shears to, to start with, and I think I'll get a I'll get a, a set of mending shears or something like that over here for you know mending and breaking and all that, uh, so that way you can go at this a little bit longer than what those poor guys have. And the glowberries works the same way. You toss in the bone meal; it's gonna pop that, and just hold down right click. Because apparently you still have to manually harvest it. I thought the way it worked was when it dispensed the next bone meal, it would automatically pop off the glowberry. It doesn't. But uh, still, you just throwing that and letting it bone meal while you right-click the vine, I, I can live with that. And it's a really easy way to get glowberries. Uh, they're about as bad a food as sweet berries, but... You get the vines, you got a light source, and, and so it's not that bad at all. Um, I feel like there's one or two other things I would really like to put in here, but I'm not sure what. So, kind of keep a, keep a thought on that. Um, oh, yeah, and this had to go through a couple of redesigns because um, I didn't leave myself enough space. <laughs> And, and and so the pistons were getting uh, triggered by the redstone blocks for powering the rails up there. Um, uh, that's the way it goes, right? All right, let me uh, let me switch to free cam so that I can show you a little bit of what's going on in there. Because I oh oh doggone it! I oh. All right, I am going to have to break in there. This was not supposed to happen because the light level was high enough that these guys shouldn't be growing. Um, all right. Okay, that's cool. So I will have to get back there and... Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, I didn't even get to the rest of that. So I'll have to go back there and just carpet the ever-loving snot out of the back here. So that way the mushrooms don't have anywhere to grow. I thought I thought that had been already accomplished. Now you got me wondering, did, uh, did any of the mushrooms grow up here? Nope. Okay. So that farm's still good. 
These guys are still good. All right, back to back to the mushroom farm. So the idea is there's a hopper minecart uh, crammed into the podzel. The farm design for the that um, Idano Gaming put together had the the podzel on top of a hopper minecart instead of them jammed in. But like I said, I, because of those redstone blocks, I had to get this lower by a block somehow. And that was the way to do it. <clears throat> so there's sticky pistons over here. And when the observer sees a mushroom grow, it will pop out a single tick redstone signal, which will trigger this guy to pull, retract the uh, podzel. And then this guy will see the mushroom break, which will cause another single tick pulse, which will cause him to deposit the podzel back over there. And the nice thing is, is that as it extends out, it will push the hopper minecarts over on top of the, uh, the hoppers over there. So this will keep itself in place where it needs to be. It, it's a pretty simple setup. Um, if you want a lot of mushrooms out of a farm like this, be prepared to set up rows and rows and rows. Uh, because this guy, this is on Podzel, I technically don't need the tinted glass. Because mushrooms will grow on Podzel regardless of light level. And, and But I just... I kind of like the look of the tinted glass, and I wanted to craft some up and have some, uh, you know. And then these guys are the bog standard setup that you've seen me do a million and two times. Uh, I did this one a little bit different because I had the, the vertical space to do it, and I didn't want, the, want it turning on and off, on and off like the flower farms do. Um, so instead of putting a sticky piston below here and pushing the observer up, I got a pulse extender to keep this guy extended out uh, a little bit longer. And that cuts down on the noise. Uh, it is not strictly necessary. And it adds a little more delay. It adds a little more, you know, so a little more cost. But it works out pretty nice. And then up here, the kelp farm that I was working on Friday. Oh, <laughs> there we go. You see it working right there. Um, what I found out was waterlogged glass. Or, or waterlogged glass wasn't, glass panes wasn't a thing the last time I built this style of kelp farm. So having the row of panes right there, like I originally had it, uh, was causing that water source and that water source to join together on the pane, which was a pain. So uh, I ended up just setting up a little wall uh, to keep them from getting stuck on top. I put down some packed ice, so everything should move along slowly there. And uh, and that's the that's the kelp farm. Uh, again, this is this is not a server sized farm by any stretch of the imagination. I, I'm actually thinking about putting putting a, a server sized kelp farm uh, somewhere, maybe maybe over by the mob farm. Like instead of doing sugarcane all the way up. I'll do it part of the way up and then do a kelp farm over there too. So that way you can AFK, get the mob drops, sugar cane, and um, kelp. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, <clears throat> that's kind of one of the things that I want to do today is figure out what, what are the priorities for the next steps. But first, let's finish showing you everything else that's going on here. Uh, so these are all the farms that are down there. This is storage for most of it. So the melon slices and all that. This has been a very productive farm. Uh, I'm, I'm curious how many boxes back there are actually full. I, I absolutely will be go trading this in for redstone because I need to stock up on redstone components. I've burned through more than a few. Um, and, and I've already gone through and emptied this out a couple of times over the weekend. Um, same with the pumpkin farm. So yeah. Uh, and, and remember, slices, it takes uh, nine slices to make a pumpkin, so that is not quite as impressive as it looks. But the kelp farm is doing okay. 
Cactus Farm's doing okay. Again, none of these are server-side things, but they do make for a nice, you know, private stock um, setup. I couldn't think of a better way to go up to the second floor in one of the growing, you know, the green rooms, the, the garden areas, than climbing up a vine. And over here, I've got a sea pickle farm that XB Crafted put together. Uh, he's going to tell you that it is 6x4. It is 6x4 asterisk. Uh, <laughs> one of the pistons needs a block back there to extend out. So naturally, when I put this up against the wall, I was very thankful that my walls were two blocks thick. So that way I'd have room for the piston to extend and not actually break anything. I highly recommend going to XP's, uh, XP's, XB's video and checking out his, his sea pickle farm. I put a little cover on mine just because I was trying to figure out how to make it not look as, as bad. And I don't like this. I, I'm going to, I don't know. I'll figure something else out. Um, I'm just happy to have it working. Um, the nice thing is, is you, you can set this up to just uh, load up on the bone meal and then turn it on or off and uh, collect your sea pickles. So now we got an easy source of sea pickles, just cost you some bone meal, but with all the ways we have to get bone meal, that's not a problem. Uh, <clears throat> I also needed a, a place to put a little more uh, cocoa beans than what we had before. And so I just filled part of the wall with jungle and, <laughs> and loaded up with cocoa beans. What I do want to do in the relatively near future, and we may do that to may do this today. I've got just uh, I've got two blocks of space back here, two wide and what one two three three tall. Uh, four if I knock out one of these slabs if I need to. Um, I would like to have a button somewhere either on the floorboard here or maybe I shrink this down a little bit so it's not as long. Um, and I would like said button to just push the entire wall of jungle forward, which should break the, uh, the cocoa uh, off the wall. Uh, there's no automated way to plant cocoa, unfortunately. Uh, second to that, I may I may set up a, a water source up here and some waterlogged steps down here, or even just some half slabs. I don't even think they have to be uh, waterlogged. And set it up so that way I can push a button and a blip of water will drop down um, and wash these guys off into the trough below. E either either one, but you know, because I don't want to. I don't want to sit here with my fortune axe and going through each individual one. I'm gonna have to plant them all. There's no getting around that. Uh, but I mean, I, I I'm an engineer. I want to automate as much of this as I can. And I would love to just bloop, pop a button and uh, have all that fall off the wall and just need to be picked up and replanted. And I'm thinking over here in this corner, I might put the micro crop farm that I had down in the basement and tore down when I installed the villagers only because I, I'm going to need more hay for... Um, I'm going to need more hay to make target blocks. And these guys are, are these guys down here, like, uh, oh, <laughs> we're, we're going to be talking about this thing in a little bit, too. Uh, the potato guys, they're pulling their weight. They're, they're doing a bang up job. The carrot guys, they're doing a bang up job. They're pulling their weight. These guys, <laughs> the, the, these guys, not, not, not so much. Uh, that's, yeah, that's sad. You should feel sad about that. These guys, same deal. That's sad. And you should feel sad about that. 
uh, the question is, is what to do about it? Because one of one of the one of the farm designs that I can think of for the wheat means throwing a lot more hoppers at the problem, and I. Man, it, it's already starting to get a little framey over here. Like, in, in my little mini hut in the top left corner, I almost want to put the frame rate count, but I almost don't because I'm not sure I really want to know what happens when you walk into my base. Uh, we're not talking mumbo levels of lag, but uh, still. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this style farm. No. Do you hear a spider? I do hear... Oh, he's probably just outside my door. Okay. Are you going to huff and puff and blow your way in? No, that would be the wolf somewhere. Um, I need to get these guys in a little farm too. I haven't figured out that part yet. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, these guys, horrible. These guys, horrible. And I need hay bales for target blocks. And if... If that's the sad kind of production rate I'm going to get out of these guys, I might want to just do the micro crop farm and throw bone meal at the problem. Um, <clears throat> so that is my thought. And, and then we'll, we'll see how that goes from there. Sorry. And I will eventually need to find a better home for this because... This basement area is just my testing ground for a lot of different farm type designs. Like when, when we get to the the kind of thing that's going to provide potatoes for the server, this farm is a definite go. I'll just need to work out a rail system that will evenly distribute bone meal amongst all the stations because you can string as many of these stations together as you want, and, and that is that is awesome. Um, same thing for the carrots. It's just, uh, you know, I don't know about Mr. Wheat and Mr. Uh, Beetroot there. On the other hand, I do have all these guys up to master level trading. That's where a lot of my pumpkins and melons went. But that also means I now have plenty of people with which to trade stuff and get emeralds. I also need to find a better home for this. This was supposed to be just a quick... Uh, oh, oh my. I have been over here a little bit, haven't I? Um, hello, beautiful. And, yeah, that's uh, keeping up nice, too. I've been, <laughs> I've been using the honeycomb for placeholders and making candles. Um, I think I might breed up some more bees and put them to use in a wheat farm. And just you let the let the bees fertilize the uh, the wheat to grow it faster for those guys, and and just you know set up two of them. I, I need to figure out just how how big to make it though, because again, I'm not going to go tango tech sized. He used a lot of hoppers in his design, and I'm not about uh, I'm not about that. So I don't know, and I might do the same for the beetroot guys but again i don't i don't need that much beetroot i uh i'm not even other than having a beetroot farm i'm not entirely sure what yeah i might just leave because <laughs> I, I don't oh yeah to trade with some of these guys like this yahoo no this yahoo nope uh which one was it this guy no because he had the carrot trade. One of these had wheat and beetroot. Yeah, this guy. Wheat and beetroot. The two things I didn't have a lot of. I just about uh, freed him up for other opportunities and, and allowed uh, a new employee to join the ranks. That was that was almost a thing. <laughs> uh, and these guys are doing more than awesome. Uh, matter of fact, that this is where I'm getting some of the bone meal. 
Uh, I was tossing it in this to keep it prepped and primed, but I've actually got the dispenser under there full as well as like two hoppers back. Unless somebody's been using that and didn't top it back off. So I've just been coming over here and uh, at least trying to get a little more a little more weed out of these guys. Although I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this with the beetroot guys as well. It doesn't seem to work as well on them. I think it's because the observers don't detect that first stage for some reason. But I'm not 100% certain on that. I we, we, We've now passed my, uh, my Minecraft knowledge. I also need to find a better home for the rail duplicators. Ah! Hi, guys. I should probably put a safety something over there, too. Safety third. <laughs> and this thing. Oh, 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 oh. This. Let me go get my redstone box, because... I, I forget who's... I I saw this on somebody's video. And I wish I could remember who so I could give them appropriate credit. Um, one of those two boxes will have what I need. Uh, where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go to my basement. I'm lost. I'm lost in my own mountain base. How many dwarves get lost in their own mountain base? See, I am not a dwarf. <laughs> Sorry. I'll breathe. Oh, and I need a wall. Um, no, it's not a wall now yet, but it's about to be. Because here is the dealio. I've got this set up currently, so that way a redstone source is powering this space. When the when the uh, basalt block forms from the lava falling, etc., etc., the power then starts going through the block, goes to that repeater gets uh, wrapped around the corner here to power that piston, which pushes everything forward one block. Um, instead of... <laughs> instead of all that redstone... Oh, that got collected by collections. Uh, that, that sounded a little more wrong than I intended. I need one of those for space. Instead, what you do is you set up a wall there. Here, let me break all these. I'll probably leave that block there. Actually. No, because I still want that to... No, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get... Let's, oh, wait, no. I can't because of that. All right. Um, sorry. Short-term memory is something or other. Can't remember what it's called. So what you do is you set up a wall of some sort here. I may go back and change it out for a blackstone wall because that just doesn't look like it fits. Um, and then you go grab yourself an observer. And you set the observer to watch that wall. Because that means that when... The basalt block forms that changes the state of the wall, which causes him to fire. When the basalt block is moved forward, oh, that is going to cause him to fire again. So I guess, uh, I guess that means I will still need to extend that signal somehow. Um. Mm -hmm. I didn't 
think about that. I shouldn't have been so quick to tear everything down. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi. All right, I did this so that way it, uh, I wanted the basalt to go no further that way and no further that way without actually moving any of the equipment. Ba basically, if, if somebody forgets to harvest or somebody's pick breaks or something like that, the line of basalt doesn't break into that farm there and it doesn't move that equipment back. Ask me how I know how that turns out. <sighs> All right, uh, let's think about this, shall we? Uh, we could. Why do I have an orange carpet there anyway? Especially when everything else is red. Never mind. I, I, I'm not going to try to figure that out. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of, that I was going to end up getting stuck in an endless loop. That's why I wanted a, um, a longer delay. Next instinct would be to do the the piston trick to turn that into a single pulse, even though that keeps going like I did before. And, and I'm starting to think I didn't actually compact my redstone any now. Uh, although some of this is my own. Because, I mean, I think technically I could probably manage with just this. Except, uh, nope. Why does that not, uh, why does that not power the piston? Do I need to put a, a, uh, a block there? <laughs> nope. That's even worse. Okay. Hmm. less than useful. Okay. Uh, hmm. I thought this was going to be a simple adaptation. I was wrong. I was wrong. All right. Then let's try something different. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Let's get him looking from underneath. Uh, 
And what does that get me? Besides trouble. supposed to be just a simple condensing of redstone. I can't help but feel like the, the solution is right in front of me. time I had oh wait no the last time I had one of these guys do a single tick pulse and then extend it out just a little bit go. If you're having a problem, throw more observers at it. So that's going to change. He's going to see it. This guy is going to see him change. And I've still got the same single tick pulse that's causing me trouble. That's going to work the way I think that's going to work. Yeah, because that redstone block is now powering far more than that. Um, that's closer, though. Because that didn't... End oh, wait, no, because that ended up firing twice. Um... I may have to, uh, I may have to come back to this one. Doggone, I thought this was going to be so simple. I, I managed to successfully pull off a couple other half-remembered, uh, redstone bits. And this is, this is, this isn't even, this isn't even what I really needed to be working on either. Alright, that's, that's fine. This is fine. Or do I make use of what's up there? Although I don't want to accidentally power that guy. Um, Cause if I do that, that's not gonna change. That's not gonna change anything that matters. Cause that. Nope. Okay. So that's still going to work. Oh, 
I'm still going to want something there to, to funnel things into this guy. Although, no, I don't want to put the stairs there. I mean, I want to, but that's not going to help. Um, I don't know. I might still be able to make that work. All right, all right, all right. One, one, one problem at a time. One problem at a time. Because if I do this, then this, that will block stuff so it doesn't go any further than that guy. I can still open that chest if I need to. But none of this is, uh, and none of this is still what I really need to be doing. He says he continues focusing on the non-essential parts of today's task. I hear Zomberts. I thought I could do redstone. Or maybe I gotta sink it down one more? Hmm, iron. Because <laughs> that's totally what we're short on. Alright. Oh no, I should be able to keep that up one more. No, I can't. I can't leave that wool because that doesn't seem to work out so well. Uh, I need a note block. I need to craft up a bunch of note blocks because I have none in storage. I do I do I have them? Yeah, there, there's still a lot of this placeholder business and trying to figure out how I'm gonna jam some stuff where they are. <laughs> okay. That's my, uh, that's my, yep. there we go. We'll, uh, we'll just leave that there for now. I'll, I'll, I'll sort that out later. Been saying that a lot, haven't I? Alright, so we'll do this, we'll do this. We'll go, bam. And then a blot of redstone? Or is it a dot of redstone? That is two kinds of wrong. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could just let that run <laughs> as is anyway. But that, uh, nope. do that. How did that... Okay. Not even gonna ask. That's...
That's not how helpful works. No, I have no idea why I was that worried about getting iron, because, I mean, it's not like we have a shortage, but, um, and that actually means that I could move a little bit of this around. And that might change the, the redstone possibilities. Instead of a sticky piston, which I need more of, I can just use a regular piston. Because I can move that here. So we'll have the lava source. That's uh, going to go there. Now that I don't need the redstone on that side. Which means I can... Put the observer back. Cheating, I intended. Um, So I could put a wool there to remind myself that there's redstone. second I uh, okay I I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be hush I don't want to hear it. because now I don't have to worry about um, the ice block uh, wait Just fine. 
And then I can put the obsidian there, so that way I don't have to worry about the redstone getting pushed back. I'll throw that there just because. Okay. And it actually is still more compact than it was. Wonderful. I'll put that there just because. I'll put that there because I need... Oh. Because uh, I need lighting. Because otherwise I think... Uh, eh. It's not that bad. It gets down to what? Six, five, six... So that's not technically that bad. What I want to do is I want this there. So that way uh, redstone lighting changes don't uh, don't mess that up. Beautiful. I forgot though the big problem was trying to keep that ice block on top of the sticky piston. That was the issue. And that keeps those two from moving, which means I only have to worry about it pushing that far. And it won't go any further. This keeps the, the machine from pushing itself too far back. And that is, that is beautifully more compact than it was before. See, I told you I'd... <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, see, I told you I'd remember. But, uh, yeah, I... I I don't believe that, and neither should you. Uh, get all that in there. That basalt can go in there. Uh, my block of redstone can go there. Especially now that it's no longer needed. Um, I'll toss the wool in there for now. And I'll run everything else through the sorting system, which is kind of next on the next on the block for things to things that have had me go, hmm, and not in the not in the nice kind of way either. All right, let me get my redstone boxes back in the ender chest. So uh, this is supposed to be the place where I empty my pockets. Although I think. On the on the brown die, I've uh, yeah, I don't have it. No, uh, where did I put the the cocoa beans? Over there. Yeah, I didn't leave more room more room than for a stack of those. So we'll see if that doesn't help. That's why that's why those twelve didn't get sorted the way that they should. Yeah, there there's one of the ones that went through. The problem I'm running into is, like, everything else seems to be sorting through just fine. Here, let me drop all this stuff down this way. Dropper, dropper, dropper. Comparator. Repeater. Uh, I don't have a home for the droppers or the repeaters. That's something that needs to happen. But what I do have a home for are these stone bricks and stone brick stairs. It seems like, for some reason, this box here does not pick up the items that run through the system. And I haven't been able to figure it out because, like, if, if I empty a square and run something through that should end up on the other side over there, it'll fill up that square. So I know the items are going through. And they're having a moment to sort into the box. What I can't figure out is, is why, why the stone bricks and whatnot are not, uh, are not dropping into that box. Like, everything I just ran through had a home. So nothing's in overflow. But if I... Uh, there's actually a uh, barrel back here that's kind of a shortcut into the mass storage and I sort of wish I had left myself access to it 
that's not carefully trying to get a pixel pixel perfect uh, toss through there. Yeah. I still haven't made my door back here either, so what can you say? All right, let's uh, let's do this. Let's go over to the buffer barrel and drop in our stone blocks. So there's four stone blocks that or stone brick blocks that should have a home in here. So they're running through the system, running through the system, running through the system. And 64, 63, so there should be a full stack and then four, one for the placeholder and three for the overflow. And while that's going, I'll put that back, put that back. Uh, I have a bunch of cakes from, uh, <laughs> from trying to level up the villagers down there. Some of them did, weren't weren't buying what I was selling and uh yeah that got that got kind of awkward yeah so nothing there no no they haven't made their way through yet I forget sometimes that this I I chose the slower but lag efficient version of the storage setup so there there is that But so far, everything else seems to work. I, I'm almost tempted to... Uh, I was going to say, I'm almost tempted to run run a bunch of other stuff through here to see, you know, what, if anything, on the top is not working or what's going on with that. But then I just realized an orange carpet went through and got sorted just fine. So, no. And there's my four stone blocks. So those stone bricks have a home, and I kept wondering if, like, maybe there was something where I got an in, a spare NBT tag or something like that that's causing that to not stack. But uh, no, they stack. So for whatever reason, that box right there, and so far only that box right there, will not will not grab items that have placeholders. But if I do something like, uh, let me remove a pressure plate. So there's an empty spot right there. And just to make sure that, uh, there is no possible way. Yeah, I need to, I need to get myself some better access to a bunch of this. That's, uh, that, where I need to, where am I going to set up my to-do list? <laughs> Uh, I need a, I need a way to access this guy right here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm, gonna, I'm even gonna put in a non-stackable. Uh, no, uh, let me throw two Ender pearls because they don't have a home yet, so they should either end up in the empty space or in the overflow, depending on if items are getting to that box. Or not. Because that was one of the things that I was wondering is like, well, maybe, maybe for whatever reason, these items aren't going through and I'm going to have to like go check the hopper, hopper lineup up there and see if maybe there, there's a sequencing error or, uh, I got a hopper pointed left that should be pointed forward or some, some, something like that. Also the one random enchanted, uh, that, that seemed like a funny joke at the time, but now it's getting kind of annoying. I don't know why. Or maybe because I'm just like... Um, the waiting is the hardest part. That does bring up the question while we're waiting. Where do I put my to-do board? Should I put it right there? I'm also tempted to use that space to put a put a couple of the animal farms, like get the pig farm, the cow farm, that kind of stuff built into that wall since I got the storage over here. Um, or 
did I put a home for those? No, no, I don't think I did put a home for the ender pearls yet. Because they're, they're not any of the trees, or the coral, or the other foliage, or the ice and snow, or the fancy stones. Yeah, so then the next, the next space would be either that empty space or overflow. Okay. So... Maybe there is something something weird with that, because the last time I ran an Ender Pearl through, it ended up in one of those empty spaces. <sighs> so yeah, that that's uh that's one of the that's one of the problems on my agenda, and I get a Put homes for all that. I'm gonna set this box for my redstone stuff. Uh, this box is gonna be workstations and miscellany, so you know, books and bookshelves and name tags and armor stands and uh, things that just don't have a home anywhere else. Um, I don't know why I I, I set up for uh, three stacks of chests and three stacks of barrels, other than I tend to keep a lot of those on projects and overproduce them for projects. Um, and I wanted placeholders for the rails. I'm going to put, like, room for a stack of activators and a stack of uh, detector rails, because I don't tend to use those that often, so they shouldn't, they shouldn't be sitting around in a project box that gets dumped into here for sorting and storage. And if they are, I got bigger problems. Uh, I'm not sure what else is going to go in here other than that this is kind of the, the home for things that I didn't think of. And I still got to finish filling out my, my treasures. Like, I'm going to have to get a couple more blocks of diamonds for room. Uh, you know, some diamond ore. Although I think all my diamond ore is going to rest right now anyway. Um, I'll probably put the coal in here somewhere. And a few other things like that. Uh... So that's been the big, the big troubleshooting one. Um, <clears throat> let's. Uh, what, what what do we want our to do list to be in? Not acacia because I don't have a lot of that. Not birch because I haven't done that yet. Uh, dark oak I'm a little short of. Let's make it out of jungle. Uh, let, let's go ahead and get some uh, get some jungle. And if I were me, I'm gonna put the sticks right there. No, I don't know why. Uh, let's get another six signs. Signs, signs everywhere. All right, I'll, I'll keep the raw materials on me in case I need to make more. So we'll we'll get our our uh, to do board over here for now. Uh, so I definitely need to finish troubleshooting storage. Uh, I need to add access to the storage redstone. Uh, the, those two are kind of tied together since I'm going to have to be back there anyway for the troubleshooting. Uh, and don't hear it, I'm not saying. I'm still going to empty everything into my pocket, everything that's left over from a project and run it through. Because honestly, if if all I get is the one box that's giving me trouble, uh, I'll live with that. Is it just that top one or everything in this row? Let's do this. Let's run uh let's run three mossy cobble through and see if we end up with the same problem. And for the eighteenth time. Uh no, of course I covered all that up. I wanted to make it look pretty. Alright, fine. You know, we'll just 
And maybe that was part of it, too. Because that right there is slowing the rate of items going through the system. And I don't know if that's helping or hurting with all of this. So I put in three mossy cobble walls, so we should see four there by the time this is done running. All right, back to the, back to the to-do. Um, I need to... Finish Hi. castle dining room. How you do? How you do? Walls. Hello. Decorate. Hello. Hi. All right. I need to finish do? the castle dining room walls. I need to decorate. I need to figure out a a a wall plan. Like I've been using a lot of this kind of decoration, but since I've been using it so much for this base, I don't I don't want to duplicate it. Does that make sense? Okay, no, the mossy cobble went through. So it's just that one. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. How are you doing? How are you doing? I need to. How are you, how are you doing? doing? Hello. Hi. I need to get the the main AFK sugarcane farm set up. Uh, and kelp. So let's uh let's take a nap because it's nine in the morning. <laughs> in Minecraft. Or three in the morning in Minecraft. I swear I sleep on the couch far more than I actually ever go around to the bedroom that I decorated. I don't know why I got I got this beautiful library that I never go to. Something, 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 all work. Hi, friend. So, I've got a lot of space here. Uh, two layers of sugar cane aren't bad, but they could be better. Now, it also doesn't help that this is not the most efficient layout, nor is this the most efficient farm. Um, while I was looking for the kelp farm, somebody, I, I can't remember, I can't remember who it was, because I'd love to give them credit, uh, showed off a, a sugarcane farm that doesn't require slime blocks or sticky pistons and does not require observers. It basically gets the pistons into a budded state. So that way, as soon as the sugar cane grows, it uh, fires the redstone behind the piston. Um, and that means that it harvests each of these individually as fast as they're growing. So instead of like, you, you see, I've got that guy ready to harvest, that guy ready to harvest. Um, technically, all these two high ones would have been ready to harvest under their style of, of uh, farm. And, and instead, we're waiting on this guy to get his third before that any of that gets harvested. And that, you know, that, that takes, that takes time. And the faster you get this harvested, the faster you can start growing the next one. Uh, I, I am just a little tempted to tear all this down and do that style of farm instead. But not really, because that was a lot of work. I, I don't I don't I don't know that I want to tear all this down just to make a different version of the farm. Um, I just I don't, I don't know. Or 
maybe I do because again, it's a it's a tighter setup than that. It's a little more lossless, not by much, but again, uh, that 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 bothers me. But on the other hand, uh, two more layers of that will will give us eh, good enough. I mean, this is okay, so it'll get upgraded from okay to not bad. Uh, and, but there's still a lot of space between here and there, and I'm wondering if I could fit a kelp farm uh, in the space between two more layers of this and storage up there. That does mean that I would need to re-revamp this, so I'd have to en add one more one more storage blade or repurpose one that was already there. But I mean, what, what, what would we repurpose? Gunpowder? Nah, we're, we're gonna need, we need gunpowder. Uh, zombie flesh? Uh, that's a maybe. I mean, we, we get plenty of zombie flesh from, uh, from the gold farm. Uh, more so than more so than this farm, because this farm is geared to skew heavily towards the gunpowder. Like you can hear the gunpowder burning up over there. <laughs> uh, could remove the bones from here because we got the skeleton farm. So if you really need bones, you can head over to the skeleton farm with a fortune sword, and that's uh, and that's done and dusted pretty quick. Although on the other hand, I like this bone setup because I don't have to do anything. I just got to sit here. Um, matter of fact, I probably want to go ahead and take some of this, take some of this back with me. I should have brought a shulker box with me. Arrows? Uh, <laughs> we're, we're not using the arrows. I, I really wonder if it isn't a little bit of a waste having that there instead of just burning them up because who, who's going through stacks of arrows? And, and again, we've got the skeleton farm over there that I think is actually giving us... Or, or has already given us more arrows than the server is consuming? Question mark? That one I'm not sure of. So, so you know, I could just replace that. Um, although, is one, one set of five double chests going to be enough kelp? I don't know, because that's one of those things that you don't need until you need it, and when you need it, you tend to need a lot of it. Especially if somebody starts decorating kelp blocks. Then uh, then the kelp goes really quick. So that's that's a thought. That's a thought. And, and again, I don't know that I would add it here or not, except for the fact that uh, spending a little AFK time here helps with getting the zombie flesh, which... Uh, uh, I've 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 put a serious dent in uh, trading with my with my uh, village people for uh, for redstone supplies, and I kind of wish somebody would buy the bones. Although, what villager would buy bones, and why? Or maybe I don't want to think about that one too hard. Like, uh, is the cleric buying the bones? But only, only if you give him an evil hat. Is that how you end up with more skeletons, but the ones that don't shoot at you? I mean, the, oh well, I guess the, I guess the sugar cane is starting to, yeah. So we, we got, what, uh, 5, 10, 14, 14 double chest full, plus uh, a little bit. Eh, I don't know. Could always use more. Speaking of which, I do need to grab a little extra... I need, uh, I need rockets. There we go. Oh, and 
I do need to I do need to make some of the different types of rockets too, because I'd like to have a I'd like to have spaces for the stage one, stage two, stage three rockets. But anyway, th this is this is one of those ones that it's a definite possibility. Like uh, there, there's space there, so I could throw some kelp in there. Uh, double up the double up on the sugar cane first. The mob the mob portion of the farm is working great. That that's just been that's just been wonderful. Uh oh. I need to I need to find a river biome. So that I can start taking the axolotls and squid farm are apparently amazing if you if you set up a little a little deal of a certain type in a river biome and then just uh, fill the fill you know make a little swimming pool fill it with a couple of axolotl and uh, Bob's your uncle and you 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 have more ink than you know what to do with. Which means you have more black dye than you know what to do with. All right, let me uh, let me get back to the base. No, let me go to the castle real quick. I still need to get some sheep and cows over at my base too. I keep saying I'm gonna come up there and nab those guys, but uh, I never I never seem to quite get around to it. And I still got this stuff left over here from uh, <laughs> a little bit of birch, some sandstone, some dark oak stuff. Oh, I do have some black concrete and black concrete powder. Okay. Uh, oh, and more quartz. Good. Okay. Because I got to figure out what to do. What to do with the walls? the The floor is a smidge abstract, which is fine. I do need to I need to get the decorations going too. Like uh, I need I need to figure out a table if I'm gonna throw any carpet down. Like I'm tempted to put some carpet over over the over the lights just because the texture for the light for the glowstone kind of I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't feel like it's fitting. Maybe. I don't know. I need to get my doorway set up and I want to make sure that I do this in such a way that A, we have two doors, one in, one out. And I want to double carpet it so that way any villagers that get put in here will will handle will not be able to walk out into the dining room and vice versa um, I love that and we got our input in for the uh, storage system down below which is nice I should probably nappy nappy oh 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 oh, oh. while I'm here while I'm here I want to do one other thing. I need six compasses. Uh, did the redstone dust get moved? No. Where is my... Oh, wait, no. It's uh, four iron around a redstone dust, right? Where is my iron? Serious? Oh. 12, Somebody's got to take care of those dogs. As I've already made a set of these for myself, but uh, one of the things I did with some of the some of the netherite that I found um, 
I kind of hurt a little bit to do that because that you know that's one less one less item I could manage. I got come on, fly faster. I got a uh, lodestone set up over here. all over the place because I, I can never find one when I need one. How are you doing? Hi guys. How you doing? Hello. How are you doing? How are you doing? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. So we got the mountain base. Figuring out a way to rework that too, so the redstone's a little bit tighter in there. Uh, I don't have my boots of big wind diplomacy, but hopefully I can do this before I get shot to death by the guy in the boat. Oh, mm, that reminds me, that guy. I gotta do something with him. You. I need to get you and seven of your buddies. Uh, <laughs> Tango showed an amazing little setup for gathering uh, piglins. It, it's a little netherrack platform lit up enough that the zombified piglins don't spawn. I, I should just use the... Since I'm going over there. Anyway. So the zombified piglins don't spawn because of the light level. And the soul torches scare the, piglin, the piglins into the hole that you want them to go in. And you've got mushrooms scaring the hoglins into the into off into the area that you don't want them so you end up with uh, just the just the piglins uh, that you want <laughs> okay fine I'll uh I'll make another anvil in just a minute all right so you get a mountain and another. I've already got a set. You get a mountain and another. I'm not going to lie. I was deeply concerned that Rayest wouldn't have enough space in her mailbox. And I think everybody still has their, uh, you deserve a cookie cookie. I, I started moving some uh, some of the sand and whatnot over to the the main storage setup. Medic has been doing an amazing, an amazing job with that. I don't I don't think I showed. Maybe I did. Um, lot of crimson. I, I may have to go on a farming spree. Uh, so A, so that way I can get more shroom lights, and B, so that way I can give him more of the, uh, the logs to do all the stairs and slabs and stuff. Uh, but start, starting to get the storage all filled out. I, I, again, I brought in a bunch of the sand from over there. Uh, I nabbed some red, red sand to make placeholders over at my place, and, uh, I've been grabbing stone, but not... <laughs> I don't think I made a dent in it. I, I nearly emptied a double chest, but we still got uh, shulkers and shulkers and shulkers full of stone. Because we do tend to we do tend to collect a fair amount of that. Uh, I think cobbles pretty. Oh, 
I also need to come through and uh, label and lock those. I mean, we can always turn some of that stone into cobble. Because uh, you definitely need cobble, too. Uh, more than you need stone. Because the, the cobble's good for crafting pistons and things. Right, um... Before, before I forget again, let me let me replace the broken anvil. Do we do we have a bunch of anvils? No, probably not. Okay. <laughs> For shame. That's right. I gotta go add the uh, Biglin Trading Hall to my to my to do list. That might be that might be the deal. I'll I'll focus on figuring out what resources I need. And Friday might be a resource gathering day. And next Tuesday will be a building day for the uh for the piglin bartering hall because we we got the gold farm going and that'll definitely get us plenty of gold uh blackstone blackstone's running a little short for everybody well except for some of the raw blackstone but um i i am i wonder if i might change out another one of these like uh the dirt Maybe. No, because I, 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 I will, as I dig this out, I will almost certainly run into more dirt. Uh, what was I getting ready to do? I was getting ready to come over here and go... Seven. Piglin. Trading. All. Um, I am forgetting something. Because a lot of the a lot of the big server server sized production farms aren't going to happen until the castle is finished, so we know where to put a bunch of the stuff. Uh. Did I did I finish finish my room? I think I finished finished it. No, I think there was a couple of a couple of decoration bits that I wanted to that I wanted to sp spruce up. <laughs> I got plenty of spruce trees to do it too. I might also go over to the end because I know uh, there there's some end resources that medic needs for for. One of his projects. Yeah, this this came out okay. I still need to find something better than that blue. I don't like that blue. No, I didn't. I thought that would fit better. It doesn't. Um, I might have to go with the white since we get the white chairs over there. I don't know. I think I left some stuff over. Yeah, I left some leather and caps and whatnot. I got the cyan beds that didn't work out. Uh, that's right. I left a bunch of the, the heads over here for more armor stand shenanigans. Along with some of the leaves and chains. Oh, that's what I forgot to leave a space for. Chains. Let me just take that with me so I don't forget. Um, forget what? I mean, that, that is... Man, that's the way my brain's going here lately. Let me do this so I don't forget. What what was it I wasn't going to forget? I think I might add a couple more shirts to the rack there. Or maybe I'll add two or three more there, but I definitely don't want to do too, too much more. 
only because I don't want to add too many armor stands to this area. I, I've already got a fair number. Like, you know, there's four there for the boots, three more for the suits hanging off of the racks. Uh, I got another one for that little azalea bush on top of the mossy stone. And one more for that guy on top of the table there. I got one more for the purple Enderman, Endermite Man. Ender, Endermite Man? Yeah. Uh, oh, I wouldn't mind getting that Enderman's head. I wonder how many Endermen I gotta kill to do that. Oh, I need to set up an Enderman farm because I need, I need more pearls. I'm running short on pearls. Uh, there we go. There, wait, uh, which way is home? There's no place like home. There's no place like home. Oh, and I gotta finish this walkway. I gotta, I gotta completely redo the walkway. All right. Um, so Enderman Farm, walkway seven eight. Enderman Farm. How you doing? Oh, oh, uh, Enderman Farm reminded me. We need more gas tiers for the end crystal so we can finish the dragon setup and then get a proper end hub, you know, with, with uh, pathways and all that good fun. I'm not going to go through the trouble of breaking all that bedrock until, uh, until we get all the portals in place. Right. I should probably... Oh, I need to do another end-busting thing, too, because, uh... Right. I... Well, I was going to say I'm out of shulkers, but I just opened up all those, although that project box goes uh, goes back in here. Um, so, yeah, I do have a few more, although I'm probably going to take that guy there and make room for a little more blackstone. Because that is something I want to keep a lot of on me, but maybe not quite so much as a bulk storage level. Maybe. We'll see. Because I do, I do tend to go through that a fair amount. I got my illumination. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Like, I think I'm missing campfires. But I don't, I don't tend to make a lot of those, and whether I do or don't, I don't tend to have enough left over for storage, so I didn't put a placeholder in there yet. If it turns out that I need them, I'll do it. Um, I, might, <laughs> I might need a little more space for spare sea lanterns, but then again, that's what my illumination box in the, in the uh, ender chest is for. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. I mean, it's not like I don't have enough on my plate right there as it is anyway. Um, I oh 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 the the crop farm. I need to I need to leave myself a note upstairs to do the uh, to do the crop farm. And let me fix that. Let me go get uh, let me go get a couple of stone brick and fix that right now while I'm thinking about it. Kind of wish there was a way to uh, <laughs> to get just two out of that. There's no easy way to get a to get a bunch. You know what I mean? There we go. All right, I'll let that run. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna worry with uh, any more of those guys. Let's just get this finished. And oh, I needed one. They're already going through. They're already cycling through, aren't they? They are. Fine. 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 Uh, 
A eighty eighty uh, eighty what? <laughs> That's where we're at. Almost want to put a couple of stairs there, but seriously, that's yeah. So, oh, I gotta I gotta go back there and uh, carpet, carpet. I I should have. I think I got a bunch of gray carpet left over in one of these boxes. No, I can have a bunch of gray carpet in just a minute though. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, I do I do need to get the glow lichen going up here as well. But I don't want to I don't want to put all that down until I know where everything is and I need to No, I don't need to. I want to automate the harvesting on that. Um, we'll see how much room is left over once I get the uh, the mini crop farm in there. Surely I'll remember. Surely you must be joking. That's killing me. Here I am thinking I got that all set up. So that way I didn't have to worry about it. I think it only got that far because it spread from those initial positions. I need more, I need more gray. Because I got three that are set up for padding in there. Um, yeah, it should be more than enough. He says, hopefully. I didn't think I was going to have to mushroom-proof the back of my farm. The things you never think of. There we go. Well, that just made that a little bit better, too. Here I am, wondering why this isn't producing, because all the mushrooms are growing behind it. Oh! Oh! And there, there was how many of those? There was, what, uh, five, eight? Because mushrooms won't grow if there's more than a certain number of mushrooms in a certain block radius. So that means all those mushrooms back there were stopping the farm from working. <sighs> oh, of course, of course, of course, of course. All right. Okay. All right. Micro crop farm up here. Automate this. I'll probably do that before Friday anyway, just because it's me. And uh, but that means that that means that so far all the rooms that I carved out of the mountain base are mostly done. Uh, I think I got one other bit up in the potion area. Although, maybe I don't need an Enderman farm. I got four clerics, and they, they all sell ender, eye, ender pearls. Maybe I don't need the Enderman farm. Let's, uh, let's do a little experiment, shall we? Let's go... Let's go get us a bunch of melons. Nab all the pumpkins and let's uh let's get all the XP we can get out of these guys here for just a minute. Let's start with these Yahoos, because they're close by. I don't think they'll get me through the whole stack, especially not after trading arrow hours, but uh 
Man. I might have enough people that the whole pesky trading hours thing isn't an issue. Yeah. Yeah. How you do? Yeah. One, two. Oh, yeah. I need to figure out what villagers I want to put in that room, Man. too. Uh, I think I'm going to want a couple, at least two more farmers in here. And maybe a fisherman? Although nothing I'm doing is going to have more fish. Uh, but that... that mm, I feel like I should have one of those guys nearby. Although Arcadius will probably suggest another Fletcher, because, you know... He loves them Fletchers. How you do I, I I almost never use them. I guess. Alright. Oh, yeah. oh that's right. You don't buy you don't buy pumpkins. You're lucky you're producing a crop and doing a darn good job of it, because uh, that's what's keeping me from replacing you. Because <laughs> I really wasn't even thinking about using these guys for, for trading purposes. They were mostly supposed to just be for farm, and then... Oh, I only get. That's a yes. No, I didn't get through all the. I didn't get through all the pumpkins, but I've got what three stacks and uh, three stacks and six emeralds, and that's just doing one round of trading with everybody. If I was doing it during off during office hours, so to speak, uh, <laughs> it would be a little bit different too. Uh, let's, uh, let's just toss those last two melons there. I'm not going to load up all the pumpkins over there. <laughs> I, I don't know if the mic picked that up, but, uh, Java leaves so many squeaky toys all over the place, you end up tripping all over them. All right, let's see how many, let's see how many enderpearls I can get out of those four guys out of one round of trading. So let's start with Father Dan. yes. And Father Dead. Oh, you don't trade Ender Pearls. Uh, dude. You, you're, you're a No, two of you guys don't trade Ender Pearls. Uh... Two of you guys might get relocated. You know, somewhere. Just you know, it might be it might be a strange and unusual thing that happens. Where, uh, yeah, yeah. y'all might get relocated. Okay. Although, honestly, I could use the emeralds to de buy more glowstone. Uh, I'm starting to amass a decent supply of glowstone. I got a uh, stack in a bit in storage, and I'm going to need that for lamps, too. Uh, and I might... I, I've been going back and forth on stockpiling bottles of, uh, bottles of XP just because... I don't know. It might be kind of nice to have a bunch of those handy. Maybe. I also don't know what other potions I'm going to keep stocked in those areas. I do want to keep a supply of rotten flesh for, and other stuff for trading with these guys. And keeping some empty empty bottles handy is kind of nice too. Um, and I might brew up a bunch more of a few of these. Um, I need more fermented spider eyes, that's for sure. Oh, and I just trashed all those spider eyes from uh, the spider farm, too. I forgot about that. I forgot that I was going to need fermented spider eyes. Alright. Huh. 
I'm still kind of surprised that uh, you guys you guys aren't. No. Of course, I could always go over to the farmers and buy more glistering melons for that and uh, more golden carrots for that. Uh, I, I need oh 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 I need a uh, I need a phantom phantom farm. Set that up over by and I need to talk to Arcadius about building that floating island. Uh, Maybe he'll be able to join me on mic soon-ish. Um, maybe while we're doing resource gathering, because I could definitely use some help with that. All right. Uh, so what did I just get done saying? Um, How are you doing? Hi. Hi. Phantom Farm. How are you doing? How are you doing? I need the micro crop farm. How are you doing? Hello. Uh, Hi. Automate. Coco. Harvest. I got to bug Arcadius about uh, doing some of the decoration around the uh, the floaty bit because we had talked about it back when I first started putting it together, and I think we're at least close enough to done. The idea being that. Um, down below here, like, make this the bottom of a floating island and just get, like, a giant floating island out of this and maybe make this a castle tower, so the AFK spot's at the top of the castle tower. Although it's going to have to be a pretty big one to fit more of that farm in there, too, so I don't know. But that's a that's a decoration thing, and decorations are not my thing. Although, building a big floaty island around that would give us a chance to use up a bunch of the stone <laughs> and tie a bridge from the end portal over to that there in a way that makes a little more sense, because right now there's just not a lot of space between the two. And building an island, a uh, floaty island, big enough to hide that and make it look like it actually came maybe not out of that entire space but look like it came out of the uh out of the terrain there i don't know but that's a discussion to be had with arcadius at some point in the very near future don't don't let me forget maybe i just need to set up the axolotl farm over here because uh there, there does seem to be plenty of squid even though this is Oh no, this is a river biome. Oh, okay. Do we have a little bit of river that's uh, over the land? Plains, forest, plains, river. Nope, we're back to plains. And I'll, I'll have to check that out, because if we got a little bit of a river, ooh, we might be able to do that right there then. Uh, section that area off so that way um, drowned don't get in there and light it up so drowned don't spawn in there and just get a little ink farm going right there that could be nice that, that could definitely be nice and then when Reyes paints everything black we'll have uh, plenty of black dye handy without dipping into the coal supply Without burning lumber for it either. Alright, let's uh That is really bothering me, especially since it's just that one that one box. Alright, we'll let that 
that all run through. I got I got a to-do list to last for a while, so <laughs> that's uh yeah, that's enough to keep a few a few episodes going. Although again, the micro crop farm's probably gonna happen uh, between now and and uh, Friday because you see me build enough of those. You, you don't need to see another one built. Um, although we m we might tackle the automate cocoa harvesting. Or, no, no, I got to do the piglin trading hall because that piglin trading hall is where we're going to get enough uh, gravel to make uh, to make concrete uh, a better possibility. Oh, I need a, a concrete maker. I need a concrete maker of awesomeness. Hi. Hi. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That's definitely got to be a thing. All right. Uh... I know I'm forgetting something. Ah, well. I, like, again, like, <laughs> gee, like I don't have enough to keep me busy. Uh, and, and if it's not immediately coming to mind, maybe it's not that important after all. Uh, and even then, I don't know that I'm going to do a full-on gas farm. Every gas farm design I've seen requires wither roses. And I don't think I want to build a wither rose farm. Those things are twitchy as all get out and just one wrong something. And and it, it's all blown to bits. You, you, you get things just a smidge off and it's just all blown to bits. And I, I don't I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that at all. So I'll have to find a gas farm that doesn't use wither roses. And I don't know that there's one currently circulating. Um, maybe I can find a way to suffocate them. That sounds wrong. Do I make the suffocation chamber out of like a, a bunch of white wool, like it's a like it's a giant pillow? Never mind. That, that's going places I don't want to go. So let, let's go ahead and just uh, let's go to the credits. Say thank you for joining. Long Tuesdays, six thirty p.m. U.S. Eastern Coffee Craft. Uh, Fridays at six thirty p.m. It's whatever I can manage. Uh, hopefully there'll be a return to games revisit. It's been on nearly a year long hiatus, and that's that that can't stand. I gotta I gotta get that I gotta get that fixed. I gotta get that done. Um, that has got to change. Ooh, Beast Lord's on. So we're going to go ahead and give him a raid. He's playing... It, it looks like he's playing Amnesia the Dark Descent. Um, I feel like I should know that game, but I forget. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. All right. Uh, stick around for the raid, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>